टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू हैंडल द मल्टीपल एलिमेंट्स ऑन अ वेब पेज सो व्हाट इज द मल्टीपल एलिमेंट्स व्हेन वी वांट टू अप टिल नाउ वी वर इंस्पेक्टिंग द एलिमेंट थ्रू द आईडी और थ्रू द एसआरसी और थ्रू द एचआरईएफ एंड आई वाज गेटिंग द सिंगल एलिमेंट ऑन व्हिच आई वाज क्लिकिंग और वाज आई वाज टेकिंग द माउस ओवर और वाज टाइपिंग सो आई वाज inspecting only one element but sometimes we need to get the multiple elements for example if i go to this amazon.in and here if i search sunglasses then what i am getting i am getting the result for sunglasses and here i am getting the multiple results for sunglasses now what i want to do i want to get all the product names and the prices so it means if i inspect single element then what i will get i will get only this element only but now what i want to do i want to get all the results so it means i here i want to get the list of the multiple web elements so how will i do it let us create one example so i'm creating a demonstrative example to understand this concept of finding the multiple elements on a web page so again i will inherit the page class which we have already created in our previous classes to open the browser i will create a test method open browser chrome or any other browser and the url so what i am doing i am going to this amazon so i'll copy the link from here okay and then what i want to do i want to type sunglasses in this text box so again i can inspect this element id is given so i will copy the xpath dot send keys what i want to type sunglasses okay and after that i want to click the enter key actions a is equals to new actions driver object import the actions class from selenium and then a dot send keys all these things we have discussed in our previous lecture keys dot enter dot perform to perform the action so now after that we have entered the sunglasses and click the enter key how what i want and enter the enter key what i want i want multiple elements list i want multiple elements list okay so now how to do it if i inspect this particular element here this one 
so this is the div from where this information about the product is coming and now it has it is having one attribute class so i told you that class is used to refer to the multiple elements like again if i inspect what is the class name you can check from here it is written a section and uh, uh, micro right underscore micro this is the class name written if i inspect other element also this one then you see i am getting the same class name padding right macro a section so it means all the elements here are having the same class name so now what i can do i can write that is i want to find the multiple elements on this amazon.in so driver dot find find when i write find so you will get two find one is find element and another is find elements s so up till now i was using find element now i will be using find elements multiple elements i want to find by dot x path and it will return the list of the web element so it means it is returning multiple elements list list is coming from java.util package which we have discussed in our core java list and is equals to so it will return the list of web element now inside this x path this is important thing to note what i am doing i am creating a x path and now here i am using the class attribute not id or name or src or text which will return the single value but now i want to get multiple values so i am using this attribute add the rate class and now again if i check it from here all the content is coming from this this div class so i'll copy this class name control c okay but now this particular class which i have mentioned over here we will get complete text it will also get this free delivery price star 500 plus bot everything it will get here but what i want i want only this particular information unisex adult so now this is a parent tag if you if I, if I close it you can check this is this is div opening this is div closing okay this is div opening and this is div closing here this div opening this this div closing and everything is inside this div so now if i again go and i check from here this is the child tag of this parent tag this again this is a child tag of this parent tag okay now what i want i want this data from this particular div okay again if you scroll down this is this is the that uh, again a child tag of this div above div this is a child tag but it is showing the stars but i want i want this name of the product so i will use this div again here you see this div now this div is coming inside this div and again it is having the class this one class name so now i want to find this div inside this div so again i will copy this class name from here okay and now what i am doing again i am writing after this x path which i have written over here again i am writing after a space again i am writing one more x path so what it will do it will search for this class as a sub element or a child element of this element so this will be treated as a parent element 
okay first one first x first first x path will be treated as a parent element and now again i am writing at the rate class is equals to single quotes so again i am writing one more x path and i am writing this x path after this first x path so it will be treated as a sub or child x path so it will search for this class inside this section so again i will okay this is the div i want so again i will copy the class name from here okay and you can paste it over here okay so it means in this particular section it will find inside this section first one two x path i have given now again i will go back again this is a child and this is a uh, sorry this is a parent and again this is the child of this parent here i do not want this text again this is the this is this one this one is again a child of this one this one this is a parent tag and now it is whatever is coming downwards is a child this is a child similarly this is a child similarly this one is a child okay and similarly this one is a child so what i want i want this one h2 i want to get this one h2 and again you can use this class name this one or you can use this tag name also or you can just write this in a class name again okay and this is representing which this h2 is representing this area so again i will write h2 class name so again i will write over here so again i want to locate the child inside this now it is a parent and inside that again i am writing one more x path like this so it will it will come as a child of this thing this thing so in that way you can also create the uh, x path in find elements in find element and find element both you can do but here we are using class so it will return multiple elements list okay and and now how we are filtering this is the parent then inside that this is a child and then inside that again this is a child so it will become parent it will become child in that way we are locating the element inside the element now how to get the data from the list by using iterator iterator and iterator will return the iterator object all these things we have done in our code java iterator it is equals to web element again you can import it from util okay similarly in this case for example i want to get the price price also okay so again if you look at this price here i want to get the price so again if you look at this price it is coming uh here here this is the this is the price coming this one here okay and this particular price is coming as a child again this one this price is coming where it is coming you can check it from here by closing down by closing down like this so if you close it you will you you close it so you see this is the, the here price is not coming okay and sim to similarly again if you go upwards so this is the first child 
फर्स्ट पीरियड दिस इज द चाइल्ड दिस इज द चाइल्ड दिस इज द चाइल्ड एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो अ चाइल्ड सो आई वॉन्ट टू गेट दिस थिंग ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट द प्राइस सो अगेन फॉर द प्राइस आई एम मेकिंग अ लिस्ट बिकॉज आई विल बी गेटिंग द मल्टीपल प्राइजेस this one this parent will remain same so i'll copy up to here okay so i will name as list 2 now i will let me okay and uh, i will add the double quotes okay now as i told you this is the this is the this is the uh, not this one this one this one so this one is the child uh, parent now inside it i do not want to go here i do not want to go here i do not want to go here i do not want i want to go here so this is these are all child so i will use this class name So now, here I will write okay. So driver dot find elements hi x path bracket start. double quotes i think one bracket is missing okay and now again if you want to okay this is the way and again if you see this is the there i have copied the yeah i have copied the x uh, uh, class for this here this one okay this one we are, i have copied this one you can check Uh, instructions style uh, a section try uh, a spacing a section a spacing none okay instruction style and then again this will become a parent and if i again open it it will become a child okay this one so you want to if you want to get the data from here okay so i okay no problem uh, uh, we can get the data from here also we can read the data from here okay so now we have made this thing let us uh, and then i have stored it in list number 2 two. two list i have created and again i iterate i will name it as l2 iterator 2 and if i write while loop while it dot has next to get that multiple elements from the list i am writing a while loop and it2 dot has next then what i have to do i have to get the element from iterator one by one so list it is it is find elements is returning the list of web element and one by one in while loop until there are elements it will retrieve the list of the web element web element one by one <coughs> similarly web element say price is equals to it2 dot next
and then I will print it. That is product dot get text to get the text from that element and say price dot get text to get the price from the web value okay so again if i run it and check it Let's execute and check it. is taking some time to load let us wait let's stop and restart again it's taking time Let us reload it again. now it has worked and if you see it, it was taking some time to load but now it has executed and you see i have got all the results from my web page product name and the price product name and the price okay so whatever information it is having that is sunglasses mrp 68 percent off similarly all the product information it is getting so all the multiple element list it is getting okay one more example i will execute to understand this concept see i i want to visit another site say ndtv.com and in this ndtv.com I want to get this top stories all the top stories I want to get 
So let us make one more example. Say multiple links. Extends page. Open browser. Now I want to open this ndtv.com. And now here what I want to do, I want to find all the multiple all the multiple stories okay now again i will inspect this element and again i will go to this section from where i want to get all the top stories and again you see i am having this class featured and I will copy this class name and again I will write driver dot find elements by dot x path double quotes and then double slash star square bracket at the rate class is equals to the class what is this class name representing it is representing this section on a page again it is a parent tag from there if i look i can get this is a parent tag then i uh, span id if i if i again open this span id okay let us open this span id no it is not coming span id is not there then uh, this is not a section just a second this is a featured id okay Now it is opening up. Actually, you have to open up and you have to check them. Okay. So now, if you see, this was the this this was the class, and inside this class, this was this was the child. Then this was the child. So we have to go to this ID first. Span ID. Okay because it is all these things are coming inside this span id okay so we have to first locate this id again i will go and locate for space inside it i want to locate again star square bracket at the rate id because I, there is the id attribute span id so it will locate for this span id inside this featured container span id then inside span id i want to go to this ul ul this one ul and inside ul it there is a li what is the name of this li Mm. 
the last name is not given okay no problem the last name is not given no problem again you can go downwards this is a image this is a text again i will open up and then again if i see this one this is this is the text i want to read okay so this is the text which is coming inside this span because all these are child so it don't so it will look for this particular class name now this is having the class name class is equal to item title so i can use this item title this one item title so it will look for this class inside this span so no need to create the complete path you can just write that inside this this is a span id and I, what i want all these things so it will search inside this span id wherever it is and it will search for this class name so again i will write after that Now it so otherwise if I only write this class name now if I write only this class name some people say sir you can directly write only this class name and it will search on a page but what will happen if I use this class name then you see here here this news I will also get because this news is not a this news is not a top news but the class name is same you see uh, you, you check from here this one class name item title this one temple okay so whatever whatever news you are uh, selecting the item the uh, like five points on ua hindu temple or sonia gandhi so you can check from here the class name is item title only so i do not want these news i want only top news so that's why what we have done we have first located this this section and then inside this uh, this is a span section okay and then inside a span this is a class section which i want to locate so in that way we have written and again find elements we written list of the web elements list l is equals to And after that same process, you can use this iterator. You can use this iterator to get the data from the list and then multiple data. So I will use this while. it will return the link and from there I can get the link text is equals to link dot get text and uh, link URL is equals to link dot there is one more method called get attribute using which you can get the attribute like here what is the attribute href is equal to okay like i want to get this a href is equal to so href is the attribute when i click on a link it will call this uh, it, it will uh, call this href link so I will get the href uh, when I click on this which link it will call so get attribute href I will just print it
so you can print the link text and then link URL so that there is a gap in between first item and next item in the while loop we have written dot 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 so let's try to run and check whether it is getting or not So let's run it. So Page is taking some time to load, maybe some internet issues. But now it has loaded, and now if you see again, it has retrieved all the top views who was the Anand in Kopf's opinion. If you look at it, who was the Anand in Kopf's opinion? My best Maharashtra cancer patient all the data from the specific section okay and all the links for when i click on this thing which link it will call so it has retrieved all the top stories now in the same program if i want to check whether that particular link is blank or not and whether that link belongs to this ndtv or not then in that case what I can do, I can verify it. That is, if link URL dot is empty or link URL is equal to some space, empty space, then it means it is an empty link. But like when I click on a link, it nothing will be called. So I can show it as an error. System dot err dot print ln. That is it is a blank link. And you can check and you can specify where link text. So we'll you'll we'll come to know that this particular link text is not having any attribute value, href value. Similarly, else if link URL dot starts with if it is a ndtv.com link, then it will start with ndtv.com. And if it is not starting, so I will write not. If link URL does not start with this ndtv.com, then again I will report it as an error message. That is uh, external link. Ex it is an external page. And you can specify the link URL. That is, it is external URL. Similarly, when I click on some links, then I sometimes I get some error message. That is, status code 404 page not found. 
so there are some status codes <coughs> so you can check the http status codes so these are the standard status codes and all the error codes are from 400 so above 400 are the error codes and the response successful codes are 200 so if I want to check the response code, then again, how to get, I can use Java dot, I can use Java dot network package, which provides me the URL class, using which I can get the link status code. I will copy the code from my previous program. Mm -hmm. And again, if, if it is not a external link and if it is not a blank link, then I'm getting the status code. This is the syntax we have to write. <coughs> like this. So we have to write this com, uh, code that is new URL is a class okay and in this new url we are passing this url uh, link url which is my uh, string i am getting from the page get attribute open connection will open the connection with that particular link new url is a class coming from java.net package and it returns the http url connection object and http url connection object method is get response code which will get the response code and then i can check if response code is equal to 200 which is a success code then it means again it is a valid url and you can if, if you want you can write the status code with it as a success code or else if it is not 200 then me it means it is a error code and again if you want to print it you can print it so that you will come to know that it is a error code and you can print it as a error error in that way okay so in that way what I can, what I am doing, I am getting the multiple links from the web page. How I am getting, I told you. And then I am checking whether the link is empty or not, whether the link starts with this page, NDTV page or not. And if it is starting with NDTV and it's not blank, then what is the status code, response code? And then I am matching it to the 200 is a success code, otherwise, it is an error. Again, I'm rerunning it to check it. So you can check it is showing the status code as 200 all the status code it is getting is 200 and some external link it is getting like here it is external link is false 
which it is highlighting that it is an external loop. So in that way, you can validate the multiple elements on a web page. One more example I will show. For example, I have shown you in my previous lecture how to automate the drop down list. So again, I will go to this page Wikipedia. And from Wikipedia, what I want, I want to, this is a drop down list. And in my previous example, I told you how to select the dot, uh, uh, element from this drop down list. But now what I want, I want to get all the, all the languages. I want to get all the languages that is multiple elements again I want to get. So again, if I inspect this element, this is a select parent tag. But here there is no class etc coming. And if I again open it, these are the child tags option. So one more way of uh, doing the uh, by getting the multiple elements is by using the tag name. If you look at this example, first of all, I have uh, find the element from where this drop down list is opening. So this is a select tag. I have copied the X path of this element that is I want to locate the element inside the element. I do not want to, to for first of all this is a parent element so I am inspecting this select element by X path and again I am writing X path over here and it will return the web element. Now in previous example I was writing driver dot find elements or driver dot find element. So driver was finding the element on the complete page. Now here what I am doing instead of writing driver dot find elements what I want to do I want to find all the elements inside this element select element. So I am writing drop down dot find elements here I am not writing driver dot find elements what I want to find what I want to do I want to find the elements inside this element. So here, so, so this is an interview related question also that is web element also has this find element and find elements method. Like when I write driver dot, so you get two methods driver is a web driver object, find element, find elements, which finds element on a web page. Similarly, when I write drop down drop down dot find. So again you will find find element and find elements but this drop down is a reference or object of web element not web driver. So if I want to find the element inside the page I will use driver dot find element driver dot find elements. But if I want to find the element inside the element like here I want to find the options inside the select element then what I am using drop down dot find elements. And now I am not using the X path. Instead, of it, I am simply using by tag name. So it means find all the option tags. This option is a tag name. Find all the option tags inside this select tag. Okay. This is also a simple way you can do. Rest is same. It will be written with the list of the elements. Then iterator. Then one by one you can get the elements. So again, if you want to run it, you can run it and check it. Okay. So you see it has retrieved all the options from inside the select with the attribute. So we have okay. So we have one by one it has retrieved the web element from that list and then get text will get the text get attribute value will return the value attribute and I have printed it. So we will keep up to here only. So hopefully you have understood what is multiple elements and what is driver dot find elements, what is web element dot find elements and we have and we can use by tag name or by class name and if you want to find like an a parent and child then how we can use the uh, we can create our own XPath in that way.
so hopefully you understood this particular concept which you can practice on any website then then in next class we will be continuing with our next topic